Howdy everyone and welcome back to The More You Grow. One of my favorite things to do is to sit out on my back porch and watch all the hummingbirds come to my hummingbird feeders. I love to watch them fly around to interact with each other, listen to their noises and just watch them and what they do. They're such amazing animals and they're such a privilege to be able to see. And one of the things I run into quite often is that we'll have an aggressive male show up to the feeders and he runs off all the others. I'm sure that's happened at some point in your feeders as well if you feed hummingbirds. So today I'm gonna to talk about hummingbird aggression, what are the causes for aggression, and what are some things we can do to reduce that aggression and get more birds to our backyard. So let's go check it out. thing I want to mention is hummingbird behavior and why they're not very good at sharing sometimes. Hummingbirds are very territorial by nature. And that's because once they find a good food source, they like to guard that. That's their lifeline. If they guard a food source, that means food security. And animals that are very social and sharing in nature, that's because that benefits them as a species. Hummingbirds, that's not the case. If they were to share food, that's just less food for them. So the most aggressive, the most territorial birds are the ones that survive. And that's how we get survival of the species and survival of the fittest. The largest, most healthiest males usually guard a territory, and that just means the healthiest genes are passed along. So though we don't like to see hummingbirds fight, that is something that their species does, and we have to understand that. But there are things that we can do to understand why they're aggressive and how we can alleviate some of those aggression points. And I'll go over a few of those and what we can do to fix those. The first thing that you can do to reduce hummingbird aggression and aggressive males in your backyard is put up more sources of food. If you have one hummingbird feeder hanging out there, a male can guard that, he can run off anybody he wants. That's making it easy for him. So if you put up more sources of food, I have four hummingbird feeders back here. If you put up four hummingbird feeders or more, that's just even better. He can't physically guard four hummingbird feeders. So when he's chasing off one like they're doing right now over my head, there's three more getting a drink over here. And that just makes it harder for him to try to guard a feeder. Another thing that you can do is include more sources of natural nectar in your backyard. I have a hanging basket back here of petunias. They love that. You could do fuchsias. Look for native plants that work in your area. I have Turk's cap over here. They love that. So just look for plants that work in your area, whether they're hanging baskets, native plants, or native plants and hanging baskets, whatever it is. Just try to get more food sources into your yard and the more food sources you have, the more can go around and the less aggressive they have to be. So let's talk about some other things to make it where one male can't just guard some feeders. Let's see what we can do about that. The next thing that we can go over is spacing. As you can see, I've got a hummingbird feeder here, 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 a hanging basket, and another hummingbird feeder right over here. And if you space these far enough apart to where a hummingbird can't guard more than one feeder at a time, that helps a lot. But one thing you have to be careful of is if you move them too far apart, you just end up setting up another territory for another territorial male to take over. So it's good to have them clustered, but with a little bit of distance. Another thing that you can do is you could take one of these feeders and you can move it to the other side of a tree or another structure where it's not visible to all the others. That way, if there's a male up there guarding it, he can't see it from that side and he's not gonna run anybody off. So I would say spacing is a very important thing to look at and just kind of play with it. It took me a while to figure out what worked best for me and this isn't 100% aggression proof. It's just one of those things to where I've gotten more hummingbird feeders by figuring out where is best in my yard. The third thing to look at to reduce aggression in your hummingbirds is perching locations. Having perch sites for your hummingbirds is a great thing. It gives them a place to relax, hide from predators, and somewhere where they can feel safe at night. And one of their favorites is what's called snag branches. Let me show you an example of what a snag branch is. In our backyard, we have a large fruitless mulberry tree, and they love this tree because it provides a lot of shade, a lot of protection, and within that tree, I leave a lot of the dead branches, and that's what we call a snag branch. In fact, there's a little guy up here right now if we zoom in. And there it is. It loves to perch on these snag branches because they're smooth. They're easy for them to get in and out of and for them to be able to see all of their surroundings. 
and kind of survey their territory. While having branches for your hummingbirds to perch on is a great thing, it's also something that can be used by your aggressive male hummingbirds. They like to get on one of those snag branches and a good vantage point to where they can survey their territory and have a good lookout for any hummingbirds that would be coming to their feeder. And oftentimes if you have an aggressive male, he has a favorite branch where he can just see everything and see everybody. So if you can locate that branch, sometimes you can trim that out and it makes it to where he doesn't have a good vantage point. That's not gonna run him off. I promise he's more determined to hold on to that than you think. It's just gonna make it a little bit harder for him to be able to run everybody off. So look for that branch, try to take that out. It's usually a dead branch anyways. And that should make it a little bit harder for him to run everybody off. So there you have it guys. We can't change the way hummingbirds are and the way they behave in nature, but there are things we can do to reduce that aggression in our backyards, make a more friendly habitat where more birds can join in and where we can enjoy them all summer long. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you have any more questions for me about anything you saw in the video or any suggestions for future videos, leave those down in the comments. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and go check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And until next time, I hope you'll join me right here on The More You Grow.